welcome. Let's start by going to stock media to drag down white color. Also a quick reminder that the template for this tutorial is in the description. Click to apply rectangular mask. Adjust on the screen. Invert the mask to make a frame and add blur strength if necessary. Now take a snapshot and delete the picture on the timeline. Also drag down the frame snapshot and extend. Apply keyframes to scale, position and rotation. Now go back to scale down to 60 then move the playhead 4 frames forward. Now unlock the scale, type 37 in X and 46 in Y. Go to position also for X, 485 and Y-1.37 and change rotation to 105 in other to animate from middle to right. From center to the right side. Now move playhead 4 frames forward. Just apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and move the playhead 4 frames forward. Now to animate from right to left side. Go to scale, Type in 40 for X and 46 for Y and position X minus 487 and Y 11 and for rotation type minus 368. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from left to center, for scale, 37 for X, 46 for Y and type 0 for both position X and Y also go to rotation to type minus 95. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from center to right. For scale, 37 for X, 46 for Y and type 435 for position X and 0 for Y also go to rotation to type 368. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from right to left, for scale, 37 for X. 46 for Y and type minus 458 for position X and 0 for Y also go to rotation to type minus 81. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from left to center, for scale, 57 for X, 57 for Y and type 0 for position X and 0 for Y also go to rotation to type 180. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from center to right, for scale, 38 for X. 45 for Y and type 467 for position X and 37 for Y also go to rotation to type minus 258. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from right to left, for scale, 38 for X, 45 for Y and type minus 243 for position X and minus 37 for Y also go to rotation to type 258. Again, move playhead 4 frame forward and only apply keyframe to scale, position and rotation and once again move the playhead 4 frames forward. To animate from, left to outer left, for scale, 38 for X, 45 for Y and type minus 1394 for position X and minus 37 for Y also go to rotation to type minus 158. Afterward, 
Go to the timeline to move the frame up. Then drag down a picture background then crop to fit. Preview Now lock the background, then move the frame up. Drag down an horizontal picture since the first frame is horizontal, then lock the frame above. Click the picture. Then go to scale to unlock scale. Afterward go to the screen to adjust the picture to fit into the frame border. Again. Unlock the frame then move up afterward move the playhead one frame from where the frame stops. Afterward drag down a vertical picture since the border frame is vertical. <music> Click the picture. Unlock the scale then adjust on the screen to fit in the frame. Further lock the picture. Unlock the frame above. Move up and move the playhead to 218 or 1 frame from where the frame animation stops. Now drag down an horizontal pick. Click to unlock scale. Then go to the screen to adjust to fit in the frame as shown. Again lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 406 or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a vertical picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Again lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 524 or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a horizontal picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Again lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 712 or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a vertical picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Again lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 9 o'clock or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a horizontal picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Again lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 1018 or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a vertical picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Lastly lock the picture. Unlock the frame picture then move up afterward move the playhead to 1206 or 1 frame from where the animation stops after drag down a vertical picture. Click the picture. Unlock the scale then resize to fit in the frame on the screen. Done. Unlock all the tracks. Except the first picture. Apply dissolve transition to all other pictures and reduce to 5 seconds. Lastly, go to effect and apply silent film effect then click to adjust to 50 afterward go back to effect to drag down Apple effect and also click to adjust to 20. Thanks for watching. Download the free template link for this slideshow in the description. Have a wonderful day.